Hallmark is a program that started about five years ago, and the goal is to provide command and control for space assets in an adversarial environment. So as we all know, space is critical and it's also crowded. We have a finite number of end users of space operators who need to uh, sort through immense amounts of information to determine what's going on. Hallmark gives them a framework so that they can create tools to do what they commonly do in a, in a more quick and a more reliable uh, and in a more consistent manner. Hallmark uh, develops three different class of capabilities. The first is what we call it uh, indications and warnings. So basically we are using machine learning to build patterns of a life of uh, space assets. Uh, we call them RSOs, resident space objects. And then uh, detect if they're in kind of anomalies and raise alerts if uh, something is out of the ordinary. The next thing that we do, the next capability is what we call space situation awareness. So it's one thing to understand one single threat or one single alert, but then we try to put it all together to see if those alerts are actually uh, against our constellation of assets or actually if that threat is a combination of a sequence of actions that an adversary might have. So for that, we're combining the indications and warnings, and we build a picture that provides the information from different perspectives, and also it plays events in the future to see where some particular assets might go when they're starting a particular maneuver. And the third piece is what we call a course of action development. So it's one thing to understand what's going on and figure out if uh, the threat is, a, a, is a threatening our constellation of a single asset. The other thing is that how do you counter it? So we're using artificial intelligence to look through the whole range of different options. So it provides to the operator a set of actions or sequence of actions that they can take to counter the particular threat in the most effective way. But there's two ways that Hallmark really fits into strategically what we're trying to do, both from the approach and then from the content. And I'll address the approach first. So one of the things that we have been consistently trying to do is find ways to quicker and more agilely be able to get capabilities demonstrated. And so I think what had been first in this program called the zero integrator model, which is really driving toward not necessarily a zero integration, but more rapid and simple ways to integrate. We've been able to move that forward and demonstrate the capability of that. And we use that in other programs in our office like Offset, Squad X, and other things where we're doing similar kind of activities in different domains. The second part is on the content. So by being able to understand how that we play those different activities and what we can predict and not predict, how that's displayed to operators, how people react to it, can help inform us to the different other programs we might want to do for the more physical parts of that system and what works and what doesn't and where we should pursue our next activities. Like a typical DARPA program, uh, Hallmark is ending. However, the capabilities that we develop here and actually they are, they are seen used in the operational community. So there are several uh, organizations that are using uh, parts of the system. In addition to that, uh, I've been talking to the uh, Commerce, um, Department of Commerce, for uh, the important problem of space traffic management. So some of the capabilities that we develop here can be applied there. Equally important is the process that we develop, which is the zero integrator model, has been adopted pretty much everywhere now. So in the past, um, the DevOps approach was used by the commercial um, companies to deliver capabilities rapidly. Now the DOD, the military is using it almost everywhere because we proved that it's a good way to deliver capabilities rapidly in operational relevant timeframes.